guys and welcome back to phase of the matter it is your girl jay here and i'm fresh out of the shower neck is still wet because i tried to keep the moisture on my hair when i get out of the shower by putting on a cap like right when i'm still in the shower and washing my body it just keeps the water and the moisture in there just so it won't be all shriveled up and dried up by the time i'm getting ready to do my hair so this video has been highly requested and i guess i gave you guys a teaser in one of my previous videos because i was trying out this new product and i really really love it so i don't want to keep you guys waiting so i'm going to jump right into it fresh and if i have like a middle part it's because i specifically left it like that because that's kind of how i wanted my hair to fall because i'm trying to go for a middle part when i do my twist outs this time <sighs> we getting ready to get messy in here. Let me put some on my lips because my lips look chapped. Oh, help me God. Taking off the cap, here we go. So this literally still has like water in it. I don't think my hair's dripping that wet. I do have like a little bit of product buildup right here, I guess, where I didn't rinse it out that good enough. So here is my hair fresh out of the shower. Curls are popping. The front is a little frizzy. My hair is always like that in the front. I don't know why. The curls don't pop up here. Like they pop when I put in gel or something, but they just don't pop in the front. This is what my hair is looking like fresh out of the shower. So I'm gonna go ahead and separate it into sections. So like I said, I'm going for a middle part. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that developed. And I don't care for like a super deep part. I just want it deep enough so you can tell that it's a middle part. You know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna randomly section it off. And I'm only doing this because I'm trying to moisturize my hair first before we get started. So I'm not gonna do this as we go through our, like go through the twist out process. And I'm trying to do a lot less talking. I feel like a lot of the times when I watch hair videos, I like it better when they talk less. So I'm trying to keep that in mind when I do mine. I'm gonna put it into sort of kind of like four sections. I mean, even though I did pin that one up, in one so I'm gonna focus on this section so first what I like to do is one of my favorite go-to products right now this is to moisturize my hair while it's still wet this is just to moisturize it this is just what my hair is loving right now as a combination what I love to use is the I don't know if this is pronounced miel the miel organics pure simple natural moisturizing avocado hair milk this is what my hair has been loving and I mix the two and I mix it with the um, Jamaican black castor oil, the original. I get a generous amount, not too much. I just get enough that I'll know that will cover that section. I literally just take the oil and I pour enough in there. I don't pour too much. I just pour enough that I know will make a good mixture for this back section. So literally just warming it up in my hands and then I'm just gonna go through and coat my hair. And I like to do it this way so by the time I get to like a certain part of my twist outs and stuff, my hair will be nice and moisturized all over and it won't be like crispy dry when I get to it. It'll still be nice and moisturized. So then what I'm going to do is just twist it up and I'm going to just put a little clip on it because of course we're going to come back to it a little bit later. But that'll just keep it in place as I do the rest of my hair. As you can see, I have four sections. So of course we started with this section back here. So that's the section that we are gonna start with. I usually start with the back of my head first anyway. Not really a specific reason why, but that's just what I do. The next thing you're gonna need is a good old dimming brush and the favorite hair care product that I'm loving right now. I don't, like I said in my last video, I don't know if I'm late to this bandwagon. I don't know if I'm late to the train or what, but let me hear you up. So this is the Bella Curls Coconut Cream Curl Defining Cream. Get into it. Like, I don't know if I'm late, but when I tell you this is beautiful for like a wash and go and it has, and it has been beautiful for my current twist outs. So yeah, so we're just gonna go with it. It smells really good. Consistency of it is pretty thick, but I don't really mind it because I mean, even though I use a generous amount, I kind of, you know, get rid of some of the product anyway. 
but we're just gonna go with this. I use this product by itself. That's the literally the products that I just use are the only products that I use. Now that the hair is pretty much, it's been chilling in the product. I don't, my, I don't care to do my hair when it's like super soaking wet, but I do like it to still be wet. But what I am gonna do is I take a little section by section, clip up the rest just so I can focus on the parts that need the most attention at that time. And right now it is this little bit back here. What I will do is add a little bit water, a little bit of water. I don't want it super wet, but I mean, it's already wet, why not? Um, and what I have been seeing people do is if you want a little bit more length, they blow out their hair first and then do it. But I don't care to do all that. Like my hair will grow when it grows. It'll be all right. So first I take the product. Product is, like I said, it's kind of thick, but I don't really mind it. I get a generous amount, and actually I grabbed too much hair, but it'll be okay. And I just kind of comb through it with my fingers just to kind of distribute the product all in there. And then of course I go in with my dimming brush. And this is where the detangling happens. And I like to detangle little section by section. Um, this will probably change as my hair gets longer because it's gonna take me a lot longer. So I will take the time to go section by section because I've been waiting this long for my hair to grow and get some length and I'm not finna mess it up just cause I'm trying to cut out the time. All right, so my twist outs, I do very small. That's how I get a lot of definite, ouch. <laughs> That's how I get a lot of definition. Self-explanatory, I just go in and I twist. Um, when I do my twist, I do like a little tightening method. So when I do it, I twist and I tighten, twist, Tighten, twist, 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 tighten. This way it just helps me get a lot of definition. Because I make my twist super small, of course this does take me a little time. But what I will say is, because I'm trying to avoid wanting to get like a diva cut, I'm just so it can have really nice shape, I make the back of my curls super little. Like as you can see, it doesn't even have like a lot of hair to even like form straight down, like look at it. Like that's why I do what I do. So as I go up, of course I get bigger with my pieces, but like in the back, oh, they're mad little. Twist, tighten, twist, tighten, twist, 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 tighten. All right, so like I said, I'm just gonna take section by section. I like to just part it with my finger. There's no specific order or like technique that I do as far as tightening it. I just tighten it when I feel like I've twisted enough. All right, so I'm going to finish the rest of my hair and I'll meet you guys back up when I get to the top. Last piece. All right, so I'm purposely twisting the opposite way because I remember the last time I did a middle part, I twisted them going like, I don't know how I did it, but it was like one side was higher than the other side. So it's like, I'm trying to avoid that from happening again. So, um, so instead of doing it this way, I'm gonna go back the other way just so it could fall better when they dry but it's like weird twisting this way because it's kind of like backwards on this side. All right, so I was taking this Blueberry Bliss Curl Control Paste 
and I'm just kind of laying my edges in the front because once they lay, they lay. When they dry tomorrow, they'll be. And the crazy thing about it is I don't even think I made my part like symmetrical. So it's like, <laughs> there's that, but it's all good. So um, now I'm just gonna let these joints dry overnight. I'm gonna actually be up for a while tonight. So they'll probably be somewhat dry by the time I actually get in the bed. Um, what I really despise of, and I don't know how other people do it, but they do their hair at night and then sleep on it when it's wet. And so every time I do that, I wake up and my curls are like mashed. So I'm gonna be up for a little while so they can dry some, and then I'm gonna lay down. I'm just gonna put um, a silk bonnet on it just to cover them. Some people sleep without them, but I'm gonna sleep with one on. Yeah, I will see you guys in the AM if it's in the Lord's will, so we can see how these turned out. So I'm gonna show you guys the front and the back. Right, guys so it has been exactly two days since I did the twist outs I did them on Friday night and it is currently Sunday evening now I did I did wear my hair like this to church because I was like you know what I'm dedicated I'm not taking my hair down I know I'm curious as to how they look but I'm not taking them down okay so no so I waited for you guys so what I'm gonna go ahead y'all see how I'm trying to color coordinate Y'all see that? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take them down, but first what I like to do is add a little bit of this Creole Bell Organics oil. You can use any type of hair oil that you like. Now what I can say, I was kind of fearing that they were gonna get frizzy because I waited two whole days to take them down. So I'm just gonna start in a random spot and just start taking them down. Like I said before, I do not pick them out, so I literally just undo my strands. I try to leave like the front ones for last and I just take them out with ease. I'm trying to do them in an order just so I won't lose my steps here. So as you can see, that's how I'm taking them down. So I take the twist. All right, so I take one of the twists and the way that it's going, I just do like this. That way any oil that's still left on my hands, it can kind of coat it down. I'm taking them out really easy just so I can avoid any frizz. But when I tell you this Bella Curls cream that I use, I barely have any type of frizz. Like even after day two of having these twists, like they're like just shiny. By the way, the night I did my twist, I did mention that I was gonna be up for a while. So I ended up staying up like a couple of hours after I did my twist and that kind of helped dry my hair up faster. So when I slept, it didn't mash my curls. Cause remember I had said something about um, when I sleep on them and they're wet, they end up getting mashed and it doesn't look right. So like I said, I ended up staying up um, for a few hours and that did help with me um, avoiding getting that mashing type of look on my twists. So they did stay round, you know, when I got up, I did check them and they did stay round. Cause I have heard before, some people have mentioned that if you don't wanna start with a super wet head, just so you can avoid um, having those mashed twists if you're doing your hair at night, do it on dry hair and then as you twist and do the twist, just kind of spritz your hair a little bit and coat it with whatever products you wanna use and then go from there instead of starting with like a freshly wet head out of the shower like I did.
All right, so they are pretty much out. Okay, so the next thing I do is I always give it a quick shake. Not sure that it really even does anything. Probably not. Okay, so now of course the next thing I wanna do is take a pick. Usually I have my other black long one, but I'm always losing my picks. All right, so what I like to do is take some of the twists and just clip them up for a second just so I can focus on this under part. And I like to take my twist by the root and of course, this is where we're just gonna get volume. Well, this is the end of this two strand twist out on short natural hair as I shared before I think my hair type is like 3c 4a I don't know I don't really care but I know a lot of people are really into their hair types but this is just what works for my hair and yeah if you made it to the end of this video thank you so much for just supporting me and just watching me go through this entire process I hope that today you learned something that you got some tips from me and the things that I have been learning to do and how to take care of my hair so other than that I'm just gonna sleep on it like this and um, but like I've shared before my twist outs don't last longer than about two or three days before it just literally gets crazy but using this bella curls product it has honestly kind of helped me a little bit it keeps them moisturized they're shiny like it just looks really healthy the twists are there like the definition is there like but other than that guys thank you so much for watching so as always if you are new welcome i'm jay and if you're not new i just thank you so much for supporting me with whatever i do here with my channel i love each and every one of you to know and and of course god willing i will definitely see you all in my next video bye